Hello, in this presentation I'm going to talk you through the process of creating a very simple ER diagram using the tool DIA. Um, and the ER diagram that I'm going to draw is going to be very simple. It's going to have two entities, one called artist and one called CD, and they're going to be connected by a many-to-many -many relationship. So the first thing I'm going to do after having started up DIA is to make sure I have the right palette selected. So Dia has a number of palettes. Each palette has multiple symbols. And of course, because I'm drawing an ER diagram, I'm going to choose the ER palette. I'm going to start by drawing an entity. And to draw an entity, I'm going to make sure I click the Entity button once, left click. And in my canvas, another left click. So the entity symbol appears. I want to call this one CD. To do that, I'm going to double click on the entity symbol and I'm going to type whatever I want to call my entity, in this case CD. Um, now the other entity I want is artist. I'm going to do that. Click on entity, click on canvas, double click and artist. So now I have two entities. <clears throat> the slightly tricky bit is doing the relationship between the two. And the way I'm going to do it is using not this relationship symbol, but this line here in the first instance. So I'm going to single click on the left, a single left click on the line tool once, and single left click on the canvas. Now I know this arrow isn't exactly how we draw many to many relationships or relationships in ER diagrams, but just bear with me for a second. What I actually want to draw your attention to are these green bits on the end of the arrow. Each of these green bits is a magnet and it can be stuck to various connectors on other other symbols in your diagram. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and hold on this green magnet and drag it to the right middle of CD. When you look closely in Dia you'll see that each edge of these shapes has a few connection points. They look like little blue X's. And at each of those points you can attach some of these connectors. And I'm going to attach this connector to the left hand side middle connection point of the artist entity. The reason I'm doing this and laboring over this is when you do this suddenly your diagram is a lot more flexible. You can move stuff around and not have your arrows disconnect, your relationships disconnect. So far so good. Now as we said we want this relationship between CD and artist to be a many-to-many -many. and the way we change the way these arrows look is by double clicking on this relationship line. And I'm going to draw your attention to the start arrow and the end arrow. You can see that the start arrow shows that it's straight and that's referring to this bit here. This is the start arrow and it's straight. And the end arrow has a pointy arrowhead. That's what it shows here, and that's what you see here. So what we can now do is, if we want to change what the start arrow looks like, we can do a drop down and pick whichever one we want. And if we don't see the one we want, we can select more from the more menu. As it happens, I want this one. So I'm going to click that, the optional menu, or also called the zero or more. And I want the same one for my end arrow. When I'm happy with the arrows that I want, I can click apply and I can see is this the way I want my diagram to look and yes it is so I click OK and that's the diagram I set out to draw it has two entities and a many-to-many -many relationship between them of course I can save my diagram which I'm going to do now using file save and giving it an appropriate file name as usual Well, that's it for this presentation. I'll talk to you more in the next one.